This past year, I felt frustrated. Frustrated. frustrated about the situation in Hong Kong, in the city that I've been living in. I did not expect that much hatred and fear. fearful and disappointed. People don't want to step out to listen and understand each other. I thought that quitting my stable job and serving in the education sector would somehow ease the stress of our youth. These PTSD-like symptoms are very common among Hong Kongers. Discouraged, at a loss, loss, and not in control. Outraged, Outraged. furious, Furious. uncertainty and confusion over the protest. Worried about the virus. Heavy-hearted. God, I can't. I can't stand. I can't walk any further. Train us to trust you in prayer. Not for what we want or what we think is right. I can't trust my sight. It wanders. This fight in the night is too dark and I have no light to bring relief. But you are the light of the world who gives me rest. So I can then invest. Invest my time. Invest my treasure. Invest my talent for you, for the next generation, for the nations. You have given up your life so that I can have mine. You have paid the cost and I want to make it count. And these are the people you have gathered. The people that you have fathered. The people your heart breaks for. And there's still so much more. But I didn't see what you see. The souls, the cities, they didn't matter to me. I had dreams, but they just catered to me. I had dreams, but they're not greater than yours. I had dreams, but I see those who labor, who love their neighbors for your sake. And I wonder if my dreams will do. No, you knew they were too few. You expand my view to look at the city. We were sliding down the slope of injustice, uncertainty, and fear. I was restless, and my call to this mess. Yes. As tension grew, I couldn't cope with what was beyond my scope. And this is why you're our greater hope. Hope beyond our functional trusts. Hope abundant, which we can share with others. Hope that is constant, even though everything else is not. Our days seem numbered. Our plans are halted, exhausted. We question whether this season is intended. We default to being swayed, but we choose to trust in your ways. So we prayed. And your love trespasses all borders and biases. That night, you were with us, and we had a glimpse of the early church in Acts. A group of people, different, but united acting not on our own will, but yours. We were reminded that your will is simple, your command to love you with all our heart, mind, and soul, to love people as ourselves, your commission to make disciples of all nations. Even though the situation was strained, we had faith that when we'd look back, we'd remember that this was the time we sank deeper into your gospel and I don't want to stay afloat in the lies that I've constructed. This was the time we were equipped to make disciples who make disciples. Regardless of where we were or where we gathered, we became smaller, yet we did not scatter. It became harder to meet, but you met us where we were at. Whether it was in our rooms, our apartments, a venue we rented, or the darkness we were once in. You met us, and you brought us out of darkness into your marvelous light. God, we can't choose the soil we plant in. Nevertheless, without a doubt, beyond our understanding, 
You are the one who makes the seeds grow. God, with you, I can stand. With you, I can walk further, grow deeper, and think higher. With you, I can do all things. There is no fear. I lack nothing. All that I have, all that I am, I offer to you.